I want to give you some tips on how you can make the most out of Raycast Quick Links. Now, we'll start off simple and we're going to create, search and open a quick link. We're also going to look into how we can use arguments to make those quick links a little bit more powerful. And then I'm going to show you how we can use quick links to open specific paths in Finder, to open links in a specific app and to even launch other extension commands. So let's jump right in. Open up Raycast by pressing your Raycast hotkey. In my case, it's command space. Then search for the create quick link command. Let's give it a name of open Twitter and let's give it a link of twitter.com. Notice how in the open with field, it's set to arc. That's my default browser. So if you're using Chrome, then this is going to say Chrome. And here at the top, there's an organization's dropdown that allows you to share this quick link with your team. Let's go ahead and create that. Once created, we can search for the quick link directly from the root search. So let's type in open Twitter and notice how when we press enter, it will open up Twitter for us in our default browser. And in the simplest form, this is how quick links work. Now let me show you how you can use arguments to provide more context to your links. Let's go ahead and create a new quick link. I will call this one search Twitter. Now let's put in Twitter's search URL, which is twitter.com slash search with a query string of Q where we need to provide the query. So this is where we provide our argument and we can do that by using curly braces with the name of the argument we want to provide. In this case, I'm just gonna call it query, but you can call this whatever makes sense to you and you can have a maximum of three per link. Now we can press create. Now from the root search, we can type in search Twitter and notice how there is a little input field with a query. We can press tab to focus into it. And from here, we can type in our search query, press enter, and notice how that opens up Twitter's search page with that query filled in. Another thing we can do is tell Raycast to open a quick link in a specific app. To show you how that works, let's create a new quick link and let's call it Raycast's Twitter. And for the link, let's put in the URL for Raycast's Twitter profile, twitter.com slash Raycast app. And in the open with field, let's search for the Twitter app. Let's create it. And now when we search for Raycast Twitter and press enter, notice how that opens directly in the Twitter app. We can use the exact same technique to open up paths in Finder. So let's create a new quick link. And in here, let's type in open downloads. And in the link field, we'll put in the path to our downloads folder. Notice how when we do that, the open with field automatically changes to find. So we can then create this link. And from the root search, we can type in open downloads, press enter, and there you go. Because I open the downloads folder so many times a day, what I'm going to do is assign a hotkey to this quick link. So I'll search for the quick link, press command K, configure quick link and here in the hotkey field I'm just going to put in option D so now I can open up the downloads folder from anywhere on my Mac just by pressing option D and the last thing I want to show you is how we can use quick links to launch commands from other extensions to do this we're going to install the Twitter Raycast extension which can be found on our store and we're going to use the send tweet command Notice how there's an empty text area. And here is where we can type in our tweet and obviously tweet directly from Raycast. Now, one thing that I normally do is I tweet Raycast hot tips. And the way I like to tweet these tips is by adding this fire emoji followed by Raycast hot tip. So what I'd like to do is create a quick link that will automatically insert this tweet for me just to get me started and to make sure that all tweets are consistent. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we go to the send tweet command, we press command K and we copy the deep link. I'm gonna open up floaty nodes to paste it in here. And this is what the deep link looks like. And in order for us to pass this extra argument, 
we need to pass in a JSON object that contains a default value and then the value of our tweet. But in order to pass that as a URL, we need to make sure that this is encoded properly. So to do that, I'm just going to cut this JSON out so it's stored in my clipboard and I'm going to use the URL encode command. And now my clipboard has been replaced with the encoded version and I can just paste it here. So now we have the deep link that we need to create our quick link. So let's go ahead and create a new quick link and let's call this tweet raycast hot tip. Let's paste our deep link and notice how the open width automatically changes to Raycast. And finally, let's search for our new quick link, press enter, and notice how it opens up the send tweet command with our tweet already filled in. So that's pretty cool. And that's how quick links can improve your workflow. If you'd like to learn more, visit manual.raycast.com. Cheers.